Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today we're making some vegetarian meatless meatballs, which are super delicious and easy to make. You can either eat them plain with a side of salad, or you can make them with sauce and make, for example, spaghetti with meatballs. Which actually, about spaghetti and meatballs, I think it's more popular in America rather than in Italy, because you might be surprised, but we actually don't eat it as often as you might think. At least here in Sicily, for my experience. Anyways, without any further ado, let's begin. First, I drizzle a bit of olive oil on a pot and I throw in a sliced white onion. I slightly fry it up and meanwhile, I wash a small potato and the lentils well to remove any debris. After a couple of minutes, if you have it at home, I suggest adding three bay leaves that I picked out from a big bay tree in the yard. I put in the potato and I deglaze the pot with some water. In total, I add five cups of water. I throw in the pre-washed lentils and two teaspoons of salt. There are many different kinds of lentil. Every kind has a different cooking time, so check on the box to be sure. I picked small red lentils because they cook really fast, especially if, like me, you use a pressure cooker. But no panic, you can easily cook them in a regular pot for 25 to 30 minutes. With a pressure cooker, you'll need to cook them at high heat until the first whistling sound. Then lower the heat to minimum and keep cooking everything for another 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I finally chopped some parsley that for me it's a must on my meatless meatballs. At the end of the cooking time, let the pressure go out and drain the lentils on a strainer. I'm going to save up the broth in a container that it is always handy to have to make a soup or something else later. I let the lentils cool down a bit, like this, and a few minutes later, I move everything into a bowl. I take away the bay leaves and I peel the potato and mash it up using a potato masher, or you can use the back of a fork. I add in a garlic clove, a good amount of parsley, breadcrumbs, and two tablespoons of grated cheese. Give it a quick mix and add a bit of salt and pepper. With a hand immersion blender, I mash up a bit of the mixture. To make it easier, I suggest adding a few splashes of milk, which will also make the batter softer. I don't want it to be super mashed up. I like to still have some bigger pieces that give texture to the veggie balls. Taste to see if you need to add more salt or spices. And then I add an egg and I mix it in. If you notice that the mixture is a bit too wet, go ahead and add some more breadcrumbs. One last mix and my batter is ready. I cover a plate with some flour and I coat my hands with it. Now I begin making the meatless meatballs. Take a bit of the mixture and roll it in between your hands like this. Roll it into the flour too and take away the excess and voila! Now that all the meatballs are done, we are ready to slightly fry them up. I put a drizzle of olive oil on a pan, and a tip is to aromatize the olive oil by adding some fresh rosemary that I picked out from a plant in our backyard. Add the veggie balls and cook them on both sides until they are nice and toasted. Make sure there is not too much excess of flour. And once they're ready, I set them aside. In the same pot, I slightly fry up in a tablespoon of olive oil a garlic clove that I split in two. And I add the plain tomato sauce. To make tomato sauce at home, in a super easy way, you can check out my video up here. Fill the container of the sauce with about a quarter cup of water, shake it around to clean the sides of it, and throw that in as well. I add the salt and a pinch of sugar to take away the acidity of the tomato. Let it cook for about five minutes and then throw in the veggie balls. I let them cook together for about 10 minutes until the sauce is a bit more reduced in volume. I turn off the heat and I add some fresh basil leaves and the vegetarian meatless meatballs are ready. They are a great vegetarian second course or why not? A full meal if accompanied by a nice side dish or with spaghetti, of course. 
I decided to make them with spaghetti this time and they're super tasty, no kidding. Buon appetito. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new weekly videos every single Thursday. See you next week. Bye.